Over the centuries, there have been many artists that have painted something related to Jesus Christ, such as the Crucifixion of Christ by Mantegna, The Calling of St. Matthew by Caravaggio, The Last Supper by Da Vinci, The Baptism of Christ by Da Vinci and Verrocchio, also, the 3rd of May, 1808, by Francisco Goya, and Guernica, by Pablo Picasso. During the Napoleonic Wars in Spain, Napoleon's troops took over the Spanish government by taking Charles IV off the throne and replacing him with his brother, Joseph Bonaparte. During Joseph Bonaparte's monarchy, the Spanish citizens were still loyal to the previous king, so they started rebelling against Bonaparte by fighting Napoleon's troops. On the 2nd of May, 1808, Spanish soldiers had killed a few of Napoleon's troops, and the reaction to this was, the 3rd of May, 1808. Seven Napoleon's troops gathered innocent citizens of Madrid and shot them, one by one. This painting was painted by the Spanish painter Francisco Goya in the year of 1814. Goya was born in a village named Fuente Todos in Aragon, Spain in May 1746. When Charles IV became the king of Spain, Goya became the court painter, but when Joseph Bonaparte took the throne, Goya became the court painter for Bonaparte, so he was not allowed to paint paintings that were against Napoleon's policies, such as the 3rd of May, 1808. That is why he waited until Napoleon's army left to paint the 3rd of May. One hundred and twenty-eight years later, the Spanish Civil War started in July 1936. After Spain became a republic, Army leaders of Spain wanted a dictatorship-like government and therefore joined General Francisco Franco, which was a Spanish military general at the time. Hitler then sent troops and weapons to support Franco, and in April 1937, Hitler's Condor Legion attacked the Basque capital, Guernica, on behalf of General Franco. This disaster gave Pablo Picasso inspiration to paint Guernica for a pavilion in Spain that he was asked to paint earlier in January 1937. So how are these two paintings related to each other? Picasso was influenced by the 3rd of May, and even though both of these paintings are a century apart, their meanings are both similar. Madrid and Guernica. Both different cities in Spain are places that are settings for two very famous anti-war paintings. The two paintings have a mother holding a child that are on the left-hand side of the paintings, they both have sources of light in the middle of each painting. The buildings are on the right hand side with the action towards the left. They both have bystanders watching the disaster scenes. And when there are disasters of war, there are always fallen citizens. The crucifixion of Christ has been interpreted as the moment when Jesus Christ suffered on the cross because of the Romans. In Guernica, the horse represents the pain that Jesus suffered by showing that it was stabbed by a spear. In the 3rd of May, you can see the man's facial expression that shows fear and that he wants to escape the situation that he is currently in. In the 3rd of May, you see the character with his arms extended in a pose which is similar to Jesus when he was on the cross, which shows that he is accepting his death, which is similar to what Jesus had done. In the 3rd of May, in the main character's hands are wounds, which are similar to the stigmatas that Jesus had on his. In Guernica, the horse has a jagged black and white gashing wound, which along with the shape of his misplaced body parts, his mouth illustrates a siren scream only heard in our heads that show a deep pain. In Guernica, the two lady bystanders are argued that they represent the two women, Mary Magdalene and the Virgin Mary, which watched the crucifixion of Christ. 
The Romans were the cause of the crucifixion of Christ, and in the two paintings they include the Romans from their time. In the third of May, Napoleon's soldiers were the cause for the deaths of the innocent citizens in Madrid. And in Guernica, the Nazis and General Francisco Franco were responsible for the deaths of the citizens of Guernica. These two paintings are both related to the crucifixion of Christ. They show sufferings, wounds, poses, fear, attackers, and disasters.